everybody to the Monday afternoon build stream Thilo Thio by to answer your question uh, whenever I can track down one of my old Genesis atomizers you know I just uh, I, I don't know where any of them are I might have there's a really good chance th- Thio by though by should I call you though by all right though by there's a really good chance though by that uh, they're just uh, they're just gone forever. There's a really good chance I could have just gotten rid of them completely because no, who no Genesis stop it Genesis atomizers are terrible. David from the chat says I need more hemo. Look, I'm not a huge fan of hemo stuff. There have been some stuff I've been trying to track down, and look, I'd I'd do more hemo stuff if. It wasn't such like a song and dance to be able to get that hemo stuff. It's just difficult to get. It's just difficult stuff to track down and get. And it's like, I don't know if they still do it the same way. Every time I try to buy anything, I was looking for the new QP uh, RTA, the V2 of the something or other, the something V2, sold out. And if it's sold out, then I go, ah, all right. And then that's it. I'm sold out. No, no, I don't have the cosmic coils today. I was trying to, if I don't know if lethal coils is here, but I was trying to track down some of his coils to use today. But uh, let me hydrate a little bit and we're going to jump right on into this nonsense. I think I need, uh, let me make one small adjustment here to my uh, camera. Yeah, just, uh, just brighten that up just a little bit, you know, just just brighten that up just a little bit. But uh, welcome every, yeah, it's, it's hemo means high end mods occasionally. High end hemer. High, <laughs> hemer. High high end mods r- rarely. How about that? Can we settle for that? Yeah, that's what it was, Black Rose from the chat. Juggernaut V2. That's the one I was trying to track down. But welcome everybody. We're gonna be building this here thing today. This is the Druga. This is the Druga V2. And I don't ever remember having the Druga V1. I just don't ever remember having it. Don't ever remember using it, but this is the V2, and so I'm pretty excited to give it uh, to give it a little shot. You know, I'm not expecting anything crazy, innovative, crazy, revolutionary, or anything like that. You can see up close here; it's got that like ridge cut into the top, ridge cut into the bottom. Just from pulling the top cap on and off, I know for sure that there's little tabs and notches so that this sits down perfectly in front of your coils every single time let's show you the afc really quickly as well if i can get this on camera not the real gerard butler in first with the super chat very gracious of you shout out to crap cam mcgarbage cam yeah look this crap cam mcgarbage cam it's been serving me now for for years and years years and years and years still going strong bro still growing still going strong afc looks pretty interesting it looks like a uh, you know a graduated AFC. You can kind of see right there. There's some slots, so you can close off. You know, if we pop this down in here, if you, if I start twisting it, you can close off just the top slots. Oh, if you want to run your airflow like that, you can close off just the bottom slots. You can close this down to one little airflow hole. Additionally, if you keep turning it, you can open them up like this. So you could rock just those two, maybe just those four. Maybe that's going to feel like a good little airflow there. That doesn't, it certainly doesn't feel, uh, feel bad in any capacity. But if we get that off of there, that's when we're going to see this deck. And this, I, I don't know, there's these big thumb screws on there. Big, big thumb screws on there. And I'm assuming that they kind of intended this for to maybe be like a tool-less install so that you don't even need to use a screwdriver to open up and close these off and tighten them down. You can just use your digits here. You can just use your phalanges and get these open just like that. Some pretty big post holes. Some pretty big post holes. And I like that the, the clamp will travel with it. I don't know what it was like on the Druga V1. I don't know if the clamp traveled with it, but I'm excited I'm I'm excited, you guys, that the clamp travels with it. That's the space you get to open it. 
You get to put your coils in there. It does come with a squonk pin. We're not going to be using the squonk pin today because I, I just don't like squonking. That's where we're at in life with Grim Green. Just not, <laughs> just not a big fan of squonking, you know? I like dripping, but there you can clearly see positive, negative. It's a 24 millimeter deck. Dual O-rings on the bottom, like you saw already. You got the four, one, two, three, six holes right there for your AFC to go on there. And the, I have a set of coils here today that I believe I got in a vlog not too long ago that I wrote J on. And I don't know. John, that's what I'm assuming. Jake, Jeff, John, Johnny. These are just from J. And I wrote J on there, assuming I would remember who these were from but I definitely don't. If that's even a J, that's a poor, poorly written J. These coils have no nothing, no specs, no nothing. But you know what? That doesn't matter. We're going to install them anyway. If these don't work out, if the, if the J coils don't work out, I have a pair of backup coils here from Slaughtered Coils. They come in this cool little kind of jar looking thing. These are stainless steel aliens. Triple 28 gauge core with 36 gauge wraps on them three millimeter but right now we're going to stick with the j coils we're going to exactly exactly mr practical homer j simpson i'm glad i got some simpsons fans in here that just makes me happy i'm a huge simpsons fan grew up with the simpsons yeah it looks like these are three millimeter coils as well looks like a pretty decent little coil there right if, if my camera would damn focus on the damn coil damn Focus. It's like, no, fuck you. No, focus. Uh, there it is. Yeah, that looks like a decent little alien right there. No idea what the specs of these. Junk join. Junk John. Well, we're going to see. Jim Bubba. Ooh, Vaping Bachelor. Could these be Jim Bubba's coils? I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, what do we got? We had another super chat here from uh, SVK. How you doing, my man? Uh, is giving money to Grim Green instead of Jay Hayes better? <laughs> Technically, yes. But so what? Look, I'm not. I don't want to sit here and rag on Jay Hayes. Jay Hayes does his own thing. We we'll just just let Jay Hayes do whatever Jay Hayes is gonna do, and he's just gonna do it. I mean, that doesn't make you safe from you know criticisms of your peers or from your peers or criticisms from your subscribers but he's gonna do whatever he wants to do he he liked that rta he said that he smashed it because he didn't like todd and i just thought that was a weird choice because i've met todd on a few occasions and he's just always been the nicest guy like like the nicest guy ever ever in my life i met him in ireland and then i met him again in the united kingdom i just don't know how you dislike todd todd out there living in his shed just don't know that's my horrible todd accent let's see if we can get these in here i have a, this could be really really simple to build on really very simple to build on dude i might not even need to trim these coils at all the leads might honestly be the perfect length already oh that's gross what was that on my finger i don't even want to know what that was Goo? Was that a booger? Ugh. Did he apologize? All right. Who cares? Exactly. Just, I mean, you don't... It's whatever. Look, I'm not going to give you any commentary on Jay Hayes. Like I said, I've always liked Jay Hayes. Never had a problem with Jay Hayes. Jay Hayes just going to do what Jay Hayes does. And just, there's no way around it. <laughs> That's what he's going to do. What's up, Vape Nate? Hello from Manchester, United Kingdom. Well, hello from California. United States, crazy fucking United States of America, man. We're out of control over here. We're out of control over here, and, and we just don't seem to care. Trim those leads down just a little bit. The holes, the holes seem a little bit low to me. Would have liked them a little bit higher. As it stands, these kind of have to go in at a little bit of an angle like that, just because of the wraps. That's okay. We can straighten these up and do this afterwards. I'm going to pull my microphone down. I'm going to go full Russian hacker here. Jay Hayes keeps it real. Yeah, sure. I mean, everybody keeps it real. It's a thing. Just people keep it real. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, easy. Easily done. Like I said, they kind of have to go in at a little bit of an awkward angle. We can get these in here, no problem. In fact, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my best to thumb screw these fuckers down. I, want, I don't know if I can get them tight enough. Just with my thumbs, but I feel like I should be able to. They give you a lot to grip here. Something like that, something like that in an awkward angle. It's cool, we can straighten these up. You know what, hope is not lost. We can straighten these all up nice and nice and straight like. Josh from the chat with a super chat, very gracious of you, starting a crowd fund for a new crap cam McGarbage cam. <laughs> no, man, I don't need a new crap cam, do I? This is all I ever use it for, just this. And I'm just a little square up here. In fact, here, we can make it, uh, we can make it even smaller so you don't even have to deal with my face. Just make a tiny little crap cam at garbage cam. Dang, I feel like this could actually be tight enough. Let's straighten these bastards out. Thank you to Jay. Nope. Nope. I pulled it right out. Pulled it, pulled it right out, man. Cannot get these tight enough with your thumb. Don't think that you can get these tight enough with just your thumb. I was cranking down on these hard. Pulled them right out. Pulled the leads right out. So I'm going to grab a screwdriver. Take these the rest of the way home. Yeah, there you go. Now they're going to be snug. Now they're going to be tight. Yeah, don't think that you can do these with your uh, with your thumbs there, there guys, there fellas. Fella, maybe lady, maybe ladies, I don't know. I have like 0.2% uh, of my subscribers are, are, are women, that's okay. Yeah, sure. Does that one, does that one look straight? That looks fairly straight. Might, I might straighten that up. Might, whoops, might lift that up a little bit. Might have to lift that one up a little bit. Strip time. Strip time? Well, okay. No, I'm just kidding. Good God, why would I do that? You're crazy. You're crazy. Uh, I think I have a webcam from 1997 that will work a little better, so let me send it to you. Y you know what, Vapelians? You can shut up, Vapelians. I'm just kidding. Look, this is a modern uh, webcam. This ain't no, this ain't no janky webcam here. I'm gonna straighten them and I'm gonna lift them up. I'm gonna straighten them. I'm gonna lift them up a little bit. I feel like that's the way to go. Straightened and lifted up. I feel like that is a pretty clean little install. Install, and I, I realize the, the irony of calling this. And maybe it's not irony. Yeah, something. I realize the irony of, of calling this a build stream when I'm not actually building anything. <laughs> it's much more of a of an install stream. Install stream, but I appreciate it anyway. Uh, looks like I missed a couple super chats here. Joshua, oh no, I got you. Uh, Grimm's, is Grimm's cam crap, Nero Strat? Technically, yes. But so what? Exactly. So what? Just so what away everything. Just so what it away. Uh, so I feel like those are installed pretty good. Had to use a screwdriver to crank them down kind of the rest of the way. This one turned out a little bit spaced on that side, but that's okay. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be running this on this little number right here. This is the newest deal from Aug Vape as well. On top of on top of the Druga V2, we got the Aug Vape VTech. 1.8. This is the newest version of my uh, the V200 that I really liked. They did a version of the V200 that I that I really very much disliked. That was mostly plastic and weird. But today we're going to be running it on this. Can we check real quick and see what the resistance came out to? Yeah, this is a new load, I guess. What what is that? What does that resistance say? Uh, resistance 0.94. Is that what that's reading? Is that a 0.94? Not even 100% sure. 
I'm going to push this forward. I'm going to pop my camera up just a little bit so we can get this, uh, you know, we can get this all good and glowing nicely. Yes. Let's see what we can do with this. Now, my trick to getting anything to glow evenly, hang on, I saw another super chat pop up there. Who's that from? Not the real Gerard Butler. Is Nick's build crooked? Technically, yes, but so what? Look, it's not that crooked, is it? I feel like that's pretty not crooked. Maybe that one's a little bit crooked, but you know what? You know what, Lee? It's going to vape. It's going to vape pretty well. What did you have to say there in the chat, uh, vaping with Jesse? Let's talk about Grim Green. Uh, this is this show, so let's watch the show and thank him for the show. And he's going to put on live. Yeah, vaping with Jesse. I appreciate that, my man. Now, my trick to getting anything to glow evenly is to simply pulse and strum. I strum while I pulse. Pulse, strum. Continuous strumming, occasional pulsing. That's going to start warming up your coils. It's going to start working those hot spots out. You got to kind of work both sides at the same time. When one starts looking good, you jump to the other side. When one side start looks good, you jump to the other side. Strum and pulse and strum and pulse and strum and pulse. That's the trick. That's the secret right there. Happy coils, happy, happy, what rhymes with coils? Happy gargoyles, happy coils, happy gargoyles. That's, that's right. Blake, I appreciate that, you know? I really do. It's pretty good for Grim Green, right? It's pretty good for Grim Green. One more time, shout out to Jay, whoever Jay was. I think it was John. Maybe I'll go back and watch that vlog where I got these. Shout out to Jay for the coils. Look, that that is not that crooked. I feel like that looks pretty good. They might be at a little bit of like a slant or something like that. But I can fire these. Woo, glowing. Maybe that one last lead is up is a little bit wonky there, but whoop, glowing, glowing. I don't know if these posts are copper. Those look like brass posts to me, and I don't know. You know what? Let's try to find out. Let's try to find out some information here on this uh, Druga. 24 millimeter diameter, deep juice well, superior 304 stainless steel construction, upgraded, upgraded clamp snag system, gold plated build deck posts. These are gold plated build deck posts. Happy coils, happy e-juice boils. Happy coils, happy, happy. I still like gargoyles, guy. I still like happy coils, happy gargoyles. These are gold plated, gold plated. I'm I'm satisfied. I'm I'm very satisfied with this build that I have in there from Jay. So uh, I'm gonna get some cotton. I'm gonna be using uh, a tried and true. It's it's just my favorite cotton bacon prime. I use it in everything. Damn near. Everything, not even damn near everything. I use it in damn everything. Every damn thing that's damn wicked on my damn desk is damn wicked with damn cotton bacon. With the exception of maybe this sub ohm tank. Maybe this sub ohm tank. But everything else is damn wicked with some damn ass cotton bacon. And I guess this me pod is not uh, wicked with cotton bacon either. Send this to Jay. He loves gold plating. Does he? I don't know. I've heard that he does. Matt Sinister in there with the uh, with the super chat. Appreciate that, man. Does the real Gerard Butler deserve to be power bombed? Technically, yes. Technically, no. Oh, I did it wrong. I'm not meaning to start no feud here between Matt Sinister and not the real Gerard Butler. Not in any capacity. So th like I said, these are three millimeter coils. Once you use cotton bacon for a little bit, you can kind of just guesstimate how big you need to pinch off. <laughs> pinch off. How big you need to pinch off. How big you need to pinch off. Get it through the coil. Oh, I guesstimated correctly. I like to wick my coils tightly. And the way that I do that is even if you pinch off a large piece of cotton bacon, don't just pull it through. 
I like to hold this, twist. You twist it to kind of narrow the diameter a little bit and then you can pull it through and then you can kind of let it go, let it unfurl like that. Now it's gonna be, yeah, nice and snug, nice and snug in there. That's what you want, that's how you get, that's how you get a little bit more crackly of a coil in my opinion. Happy coils, happy e-juice oils. Well, the thing is, Texas 86, that would work if we used any sort of oil at all in nicotine e-liquids. We don't. It's not possible. It's not possible to vaporize oil in an electronic cigarette type of vapor set up. It's just not possible. I don't see any moderators in the chat today, so that's, uh, that's nice. That's just chaos. That's just chaos. My depth perception goes to all shit when I try to do this without my glasses or with my glasses on. I need to get back down here again. Get real close, you see. Try to get this cotton in here. Yeah. In. Through. Twist it. Don't get your other cotton in there. Twist it. Pull. Twist it. Pull. Twist it through. Twist it and pull. Twist it and pull. That is snug. Let it go. Let it unfurl. And then you have uh, tightly wicked coils. Tightly wicked coils. I'm going to take the approach to this RDA that I do with all RDAs. I'm just going to cut it flush with the side. Cut it flush on both sides. Flush cut, flush cut right to the side. I don't think I'm going to need any more cotton than that. Less is more a lot of the times. Less is more. Think we can do this in another 30 minutes? Ever tried CBD e-liquid? Uh, yes, I have. There is a wrong way and a right way to vape it, though. I'm planning on doing a video very shortly that is going to be something like, so you want to vape CBD? Because I've gone through loads of trial and error good and bad ways of vaping CBD, and I'd like to pass on some information if I can to you. I'm gonna tuck these wicks underneath the coils. Old school, right? I can't do it facing this way. <laughs> I just can't do it facing the camera. That's the, that's the dumb part about this live stream. If the camera was behind me, which would make the live stream impossible, then I could show you, but I just have to show you the aftermath. Oh, man, come on, Nick. You can do this. There you go. Through, just tucked underneath. Beautiful, Clark. Fold, tuck, press. And then when you, when you tuck them under, you want to, I always press my cotton away. Press the cotton away. Keep it away from underneath there. You don't want it to encroach on your airflow. You don't want it to encroach around your coil because you're going to get a better vape. You're going to get better flavor when you have airflow going around, underneath, all around your coils. It's just going to work so much better and you don't want that area jammed up with a bunch of freaking cotton bacon, a bunch of damn cotton bacon. I, I am stoked on this. I think this is spectacular. Now, you can't screw down these with just your fingers and make it tight enough to hold your leads in. But what I think the other purpose of these serve, maybe, maybe I'm being too optimistic, I think they're gonna be like, uh, you know, to reduce the chamber a little bit in there. If these were narrower, smaller posts, you'd have a much bigger chamber in there, maybe. Maybe the idea is that these big posts take up more space inside the chimney so you get a little bit flavor. Are those coils too low? I feel like I raised them up pretty good. People are telling me that these coils are too low. Chris O vapes 20. Well, that's how we learn, right? Trial and error. So let's put some liquid on these first. This is, uh, this is some top secret liquid. I can't even show you the bottle. Can't even show you what's written on the bottle. But this is some top secret e-liquid that I may or may not be loosely associated with at this point. Let's see how this goes. Juice. Liquid. Let's give it a fire here. 
It's going to work. Yeah, well, we're definitely going to need more wattage than 52 watts on these. There it goes. There it goes. Wonder if those big posts will slow down the airflow. You know what? I won't know. And we won't know until we get up and, uh, and start vaping this thing. But so far, this has been a, a very successful install build. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to take my airflow. And like I said, there are little notches. I can feel them. I can, oh, do you see that, that little tab right there? There's the little tab. That little tab. Bink. Right there. Should we try to get real macroed in on this tab? That tab right there interlocks with a notch in your, in your barrel of your RDA in order to keep it right in front, in front of your coils. And this works well with, oh yeah, got it right in there. You, it, it gives you a little bit of play back and forth, but ultimately it keeps your airflow smack dab right in front of your coils. I guess the first thing I need to do is test this with uh, full open airflow, right? Full open airflow, I feel like, is the way to go. Uh, for someone who's asking what this, what this liquid uh, potentially is, melon. Melon. Like a, uh, a melon chewy candy. Melon. So there it is. Well, I got some liquid on here. That's gross how to keep the outside of that clean the druga v2 it's been built it's been wicked and well it's a little bit of a ramp up vapors just pouring out of the airflow there so this is a point one two so i'm instantly going to run this at at least comfortable for me like 70 let's start at 75 watts uh, who is asking about that? Yes, Boxcar Rick. I'll give you a quick shot. Type 2. Uh, this is the newest build I've put on it. it closed down the airflow a little bit. Uh, we're going into production. We're going into production uh, right now. It has started. Production of the Type 2 has started. And it's great. So here we go. Here's the first try. Let's pull crap cam garbage cam right to the center. Let's expand me out a little bit. Oh, hey, guys. What's going on over here? Oh, I'm wearing my dorky glasses. I don't want to wear my dorky glasses. I want to wear my, uh, my hip glasses, you see. We're going to start this off full open. 75 watts, 0.12 with the J coils on there. The tabs, keep it locked right in front of your, right in front of your coils. All right, all right. If I'm gonna run this much airflow, it definitely needs more wattage. So we're gonna take this up to 85 watts. Just gonna give it 10, 10 more watts. Nice. It's, it's okay airflow, you know? It, it's okay airflow. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm going to close off. I'm going to try all the airflow configurations. Let's turn off that top airflow, right? So it's going to look like this now. Top airflow turned down. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a whirl. I like it more like that. Airflow is much smoother, much smoother, much smoother airflow. Let's turn the airflow all the way off. Let's see how that works. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Let's turn it down to one hole, just because it's an option. Let's turn this down to one singular hole right there on the corner. One hole. <laughs> one hole at 85 watts. That's what she said. Wow. Uh, honestly, 
The flavor gets a lot better with that one hole. <laughs> now I want to try it the way that I wanted to try it before with these four holes open. Is that correct? I want to try it like this. We're going to close off those two holes. Let me clear the air out of there, clear the juice out of there. So we're just closing off those. We're going to use these four holes because this is the only way to get four holes. It, I mean, not the only way to get four holes, but I feel like it's the most symmetrical way to get four holes. That airflow sounds just menacing. It's vaping good. I honestly think I like it just full open, right? I think full open is the way to go on the Druga V2. After those couple toots, the top cap is getting a little bit warm. You know, it's getting on the warm side. I might have overly warmed it when I did the, uh, did the single airflow hole, but it's getting warm. It's getting real warm. Can I turn this camera up at my face? Will it focus on my face? Oh, look at that. That's really the that's really the position you want for your live stream, right? This menacing grim green hanging over you. I like this so much more than crap cam at garbage cam. It gets a little warm. No, this is ridiculous. What am I doing? What am I doing? Where'd crap cam go? Oh, I can't even move crap cam now. I moved crap cam too far off the screen. Uh, let's see. Uh, reset transform. There it is. <laughs> let's, co let's cover up my face like that. There we go. That's good for a live stream. Maybe I should do the vlog this way. I feel like Apaka's here. Appreciate you, Apaka. Appreciate you, Apaka. So let me do some final thoughts on this. It was pretty easy to build on. It gives you nice big post holes to put your leads through. You can't tighten them down with just your fingers. You can, but you can't get them all the way tight. You have to end up cranking it down with a screwdriver. Real easy to wick. The notches in the top cap keep your airflow centered right in front of your coils. It's got some airflow options on there. You close off the top, close it all off knock it down to one hole. You can open just four holes on the side, just two holes on the side if you want to. That's one option we didn't try. Let's try that. Just two holes on the side, right? Just the, oh, that's no airflow. That's no good. Two holes. Let's try two holes. Just those two holes on the side. Trim my nostril hair? Yeah. I don't doubt that. That's why I'm covering up my face here. That's why you just get to see my tattoo. That's actually pretty nice, dude. Just to, should I do this, Jeremy, the whole vlog? I definitely feel like I should. Just two holes. Tastes pretty good. Let's put this back. To, I, I th kind of think I kind of like that four hole action that was happening there. So it's got some nice airflow options, nice flavor, truly and honestly. I don't know if those posts, those big gold posts are designed to take up room in the chamber to increase the flavor, but this top secret melon flavor honestly tastes pretty rad in this. Airflow is fairly smooth. It's as smooth as you would expect without being like, you know, real meshy type of airflow. It's holes. So unless they're machined correctly with a little bit of bevel on there, you're always going to get a little bit of turbulence, maybe a little bit of like sharpness in there, but it's not offensive in any capacity. It's a pretty dope little RDA. Pretty dope little RDA. It's the Druga. It's the V2. We just built it. We just wicked it. We're vaping it like crazy people. And I think that's where we're going to end this. Unless anybody has any pertinent questions that they'd like to know real quickly about this uh, RDA that I can answer for you right now. 
two holes on the side, like four, like the four hole action, dude, Jake, I like the four hole action. That's what she said. <laughs> do chew. No, that could be it. Could, should I name it? Do chew? Do chew. <laughs> do chew. It's honestly uh pretty rock and liquid. All right. Well, if, if there's no more questions or anything like that, I, I really appreciate you guys coming out. Put a DHD chop top on it. All right. Just we'll run the stream a little bit long. That's fine. It already comes with a pretty low pro drip tip on there. One thing is uh, that's a pretty low pro drip tip. The Druga isn't, that's not part of the drip tip. That's part of the RDA, that metal sort of pedestal that it's going to sit on. But I'm sure we can find a uh, DHD chop top to put on here. How about this orange one? Yeah, fits. Fits, snaps perfectly. Perfect tolerances on the DHD chop top. Perfect tolerances on the DHD chop top. Flawless. In fact, I'm going to leave that on there because that orange kind of looks super dope with this red, right? I'm not crazy. I think that looks cool as fuck. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for coming out to the Monday afternoon build stream. I try to keep these under 30 minutes, but we ran about 40 minutes long. It will support a full size 810. You want me to give that a try on there as well? Tom Sharo. Let's get out a full, a big, a big full size 810 drip tip. How about this, this honker? Yeah, that's big. That's a big drip tip. Boom. That's a pretty big drip tip. Let's get out like a full size DHD one. Like this nub tip. Boom. It'll fit on there. Fit on there no problem, fam. Fam. Bunk. I guess uh when you get that macroed in, there's like a little a little bit of a gap, I guess. Little bit of a gap. Little bit of a gap on there. The chop tops honestly fit much better. The chop top fits much better on there. Snaps down like really with authority. And even when you get real close, there's no gaps. There are no gaps there. So uh, I guess that's where we're going to end this build stream. I got one more super chat here from Matthew. Oh, that's very gracious of you, man. Keep being you, Nick. Look, this is, this is all I know how to be. All I know how to be is myself, man, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much, you guys, uh, everybody, for coming out. Like the end card is going to tell you. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. And please, please, please be excellent to each other, you guys. Again, seriously, thank you guys so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow for some uh, for some hot Tuesday, bro, Tuesday action. We got some truth butter, truth butter dripping truth butter coming at you anyway thank you so much guys for coming out appreciate it